If you are a YouTuber, you're always looking for the hot thing what just came out right now, right? You want the latest and greatest, especially when it comes to photography. You always look for the latest and greatest. You want to see what's, what's, what's going on right now. Um, you know, of course, why? Because you're a YouTuber. You need to keep up with the game. You need to put the new videos out there so people will click and this and that. Absolutely fine. I have nothing against that, right? Um, if you're a photographer, in the other hand, you actually review the camera based on your experience, based on your passion, based on how you look at the camera, because you use the camera as a photographer. Two different mindsets. YouTuber looking for videos and clicks and, and you know, traffic. A photographer is into his work, looking for what to buy and looking for his next passion or next purchase to improve his work. So who's spending the money here? This person, which is the photographer. Who's advertising and God knows for what? The YouTuber, because it's obvious this is what they do. That's what they call YouTubers. Two different people uh, have an item that one of them is only related to one of them. And it's the photographers. We are the photographers who are buying this camera, but we need to buy it based on professional opinion and advice experience. I don't need a YouTuber who is reviewing everything, for God's sake, to tell me this camera is for you or not, because I will never take his advice and it makes my camera look like a joke, right? So this is what I'm trying to say. When, how can I, like, how can I trust, um, someone reviewing laptops and, and lenses and this and that and they don't even have a photography business running uh, they don't have a decent portfolio to look at they don't know all the technical things and they don't really use uh, their photography skills and experience in their professional life so they just people are just making videos with technology item right this is that that's what they called so when they hold an item I would like to actually buy they're ruining it for me and maybe they're ruining it for others but other people like they don't really care about it because at the end uh, for example like the Leica SL2 came out right and this is my reason my introduction of like how things works really because Leica SL2 just came out and we are professional photographers we look at these things and uh, either we would like to buy it or not to buy it right so but when we hear like people are just normal people reviewing a camera that i might want to consider buying he might ruin the whole thing for me not because he have even bad review of how to review the camera it's just they don't know how to review the camera i don't need to run after elephants <laughs> and shoot with that camera to tell me how it performs um, I don't need you to tell me like this good camera it's compared to this camera is good or not uh, especially you have you don't do anything in the photography business taking a few shots it doesn't make you a photographer going in the street and wandering around and and seeing the auto focus speed how it looks like and all these things and making 20 seconds video not even 20 seconds maybe five seconds video it doesn't make you a photographer trusting you like to say what uh, how I'm gonna use these things right because this is unfortunate what's happening and this is what I was trying to say youtubers are not photographers and their opinion doesn't really matter much it's okay they want to do business like uh, they want to be youtubers they want to do business they want to grow their channels and everything not in photography if you are not a photographer it's not gonna work my friend if, if you review laptops, gimbals, uh, uh, tablets, cell phones, TVs, uh, Xbox and PlayStation and Nintendo Wii and all these things, it's fine. It's because we all have a related point with that situation, right? Like uh, if I, how I play the games or how I look at my TV, if the colors are good, do they take USB? If the laptop is comfortable, the key travel is good, uh, the, all these things are related to everybody in the universe. But photography is not related to everybody in the universe. Photography, it's an art form slash skills set slash passion, right? So it's not something you just tell me the specification and you call it a day and your way, I give you an advice. You know, watch my channel and look at my all advices and unboxing. No, 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 no. It does not work like this. So when I saw people like with the Leica SL2, 
it's not like I'm, I'm dying to have it or to review it. Of course, I can just go to the store, to like a store, and I test drive it and I can report back or review or make a story, uh, a video, right? So it's not like, I'm not, so let's, if people think I'm jealous of something, let's put it on the side, right? So I'm just trying to explain that uh, when I see all these people like reviewing cameras again, especially it's a new one, they are ruining it in a way. Like there is a, The Verge, I think, it, it says like, oh, Leica came up with a new Leica SL2 and they said like it have a touch screen and it got more megapixels. It's like, what? <laughs> oh, it's already had a touch screen, the Leica SL, Oof, well, this one I'm filming myself right now. So like they don't even know what they're reviewing. Why? Because they review everything and for God's sake. So this is what I'm trying to say. You can see my point. You need real photographers to do these things. Not just someone takes snapshots and this and that. Or going around the street in Rome, whatever, you know, and just shoot this like this and that. This is a camera aiming for professional photographers, not for street photography. You might use it for street photography but it's not a real street camera. So Leica have a different division for these things. So when Leica made the SL, they said this is for professional work, professional use. They put it into people's hand to do, not related with anything to do professional. How can you bring professional people in the system when you're giving your camera to review with the wrong people? It doesn't matter. You say like, well, maybe the, this is the only traffic people that people related to. No, you could adopt really certain photographers and then you can actually sponsor them. You pay the advertising for them. You do this, you, you collect the data, professional opinion, professional data, uh, information, quality information, and you sponsor it, you advertise it on your account, all these things. So, but you have something value. You don't have someone is shooting this and that. You have to understand that when a company said this is a professional line, that means it needs to target professional people that into heavy into their work. So a lot of people don't know what's a professional word mean. And this is when people come to a very misunderstanding of the whole point. So when I see all these I, four, three, four, five, six reviews, videos I saw just popped in my, my YouTube, and I said like, man, what is these people are doing? We are professional photographers. We spend so much money on our gear and we would like to see a value back, a uh, good experience, good feedback from our cameras. If, you know, if there is something we would like to improve from our camera, it's not gonna be from these YouTubers that just go to the zoo and shoot monkeys. We need to report back on a really something good and not one, two days review. No, it has to be a little bit of work. Take it with you to work, work with it. What did you like? What you didn't like? Did they really, you know, put it as a backup next to your official camera, right? So this is when people don't get the point. When you want to review a camera, when you want to report back on a camera, especially the professional line, this is not like the like a QP, like this camera, for example, like I just bought. It's not like uh, something you know you put on the side. You, this is more professional. Like you, you will make money from it, right? You will send out with it. You love it. You, you know. So this is about the Leica SL2, my review. Anyway, part two. Do you really need to buy this camera? Now, the question is like this. The Leica SL, you know, the normal Leica SL, it was really great camera, it's still a great camera. Will I still use it? Of course. Will I would like to buy another Leica SL? Absolutely. I would love to buy another Leica SL. I'm not really crazy about the Leica SL2, not because I don't have the money or I'm, uh, I'm whining on money because of the price. I don't need to show credit cards and what type of credit cards I have. <laughs> so it's not about that because I'm a professional photographer. Number one for me is work. So I need something to talk my language, right? So I always looking for the best. Now I'm not saying like SL2 is not the best and I'm not saying it's really bad or good. I just, all I'm just saying that I already said it in the beginning, some few videos back, I already said, we don't know, we don't need Mark one, Mark two, Mark three of the same thing. We need a different thing. We don't need 
so many items with the same copy we just name a different thing and put small thing there and call it a new camera i already said that we would love to have a different camera total different camera total different design total different improvement from like for example the sl and just call it a different one don't call s because I don't want to say this is look dumb or look bad, but you know, it's like, hey, what's up? We don't know what to do with the first camera, so we're doing it for the second camera. The, I said the, the SL is amazing. It's very great. Like, I just prepared this to show you that. I'm using it for really good work. And I just shoot with it like a really good event. My next video, um, I'm going to put some of my work that I really deliver to clients. This is three meters long roll up. So I want to show you that like this is a really long uh, I'm sorry for the, the noise but this is really like this is three like this is three meters long so when it's when it's really three meters long this is mean uh, you know what I mean it's the quality is there everything is there and when I see all these kind of videos talking about it's more megapixels and we don't need all these megapixels. So this is what I'm trying to say like to everybody. Sorry. So this is what I'm trying to say to everybody that we are living today in a, in a place that we don't need so much anymore. Now, the, the race of the megapixels doesn't make any sense. Like, look at you. Look at me. I bought the Q like a QP. I did not like I didn't I didn't buy the like a Q2, for example. And it's more expensive than like a QP, right? So it's not about the money. It's about, do you really need it? I shot with the Q2. I shot video and I shot uh, editorial with it. I will put it on my website. When it's ready, I'm going to put it there. I shot with it. I like it. Did I see any difference? No. I went back to the QP. Why? Looks nice. I, I, I shot with it before. And I said like, man, this is my camera. Even though the Q2 is more like new more megapixel but it, i don't need more we don't need more anymore today today almost literally everything is good look at look at us we live in a very technological lifestyle Phone, cell phones are going crazy banana good so whatever you pick from the store you will be satisfied really be satisfied let's not talk about the refresh rates and all this bullshit thing you will be happy the cell phone will do exactly what you need it will play the apps you need so the tablets the laptops the computer specification today like i have two different ones of course there's not one with the two different screens it's two different two different pcs so whatever i i run from this to this this is busy i go to this this one is rendering i go to the other one we perform in a really good place today and we don't need too much anymore we just need tweaks improvement maybe a little bit of expanding the area of this certain things we don't need new bodies we don't need image stabilization too much we already have enough professional people don't complain about too many things if you give it to us right if we go back five years, ten years ago, I remember when I used to, used to, you know, when I came from my Nikon D3 generation, I tried all the cameras. I have a video that says I tried all the cameras. Please watch it. I already mentioned we have enough from that generation. So whatever we advance from ten years ago till today, it does not make any difference. It's like, oh, I need eye detection for, for autofocus. Like, oh, man, for God's sake, do you even know? Or remember or you probably don't even know whoever is watching this new, the new generation video there was like a focus point in the middle you need to recompose all the time focus and recompose focus and recompose it's like what are you talking about it's like oh just shut up so this is when you see separate the photographer from the people are looking after technology you know Sony is doing a great job with their camera technique and marketing I already said it Sony is really great camera with video it I came from a video I, I came from a generation I know all these things I know when Sony never had a like a point-and-shoot camera but you know small tweaks polished body James Bond style I still have the James Bond Sony point-and-shoot I still have it right now I bought it I remember two thousand dollars because it's so cool I, I don't you I don't know where is it but I will look for it and I'm gonna show it to you guys but 
you know, they polish new things, lighter body, you know, overheating with the video and all these things. There used to be a good video production. Now they turn into a photo because they know how to make monies and all these things. Anyways, I'm not, this is not the point. The point is we are living today in a genre of, of, uh, of photography that we don't need too much. This is when I try to say, or maybe the message to Leica, so like Leica, you guys are doing great. Keep your, your royalty very high because we are today we are professional photographers, we really don't need much. We just need a little bit improvement of what's really missing from the start. And nothing is missing. You know, if I'm gonna, I shoot with these weddings. I, I'm gonna show you all my albums. I have some in prints, so I'm gonna show you. I just show you the roll up, how amazing it looks. The SL2 is not gonna give me better than this. It's gonna be, give me equal the same. So it's not about like SL2 or like SL because it's all about me at the end and I'm comfortable with my, with my gear. I know my, people want to make money. I know companies want to make money. But at the same time, it, it, there is a smart way of making money and, and just maybe looking like you're racing with someone else. And this is when some people like the other day were having a discussion, me and some of friends, or photography of course, we we're talking about photography and cameras. It's like, like us losing it, like us losing it. And in my mind, I don't want to say yes, 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 but in a way, yes, because it's a very great company. I'm looking up to it, you know. Maybe there is some people inside the company are just working nine to five, they don't give a damn. This is a different genre. I don't know, maybe like I need to look uh, about their, who's working inside. Are they really working with professional people? Are they up to standards? I don't know, but you know, the title alone, it's really good. Hopefully like a original, like, you know, hey, you know, the real base people are looking into these kind of videos and watching and listening because at the end it's like his name, right? So there is people who work from nine to five and there is really people are really digging into what they do. And this is when I see all these reviews and it annoys me as a professional photographer, especially I jumped to this system without anybody telling me about it. And this is when I deliver a really passionate message. And this is when I see so many messages and feedbacks. You know, so many people tell me, I bought, your, I bought a like SL because of you. I, I bought it because of you. Please, if you know, I need to really read all these comments again to you guys. I, I met someone, I, I talked to someone from Facebook. He told me, I saw your Leica video SL. I was thinking to buy Sony, but after seeing your videos and work, I'm going to buy SL. I, can you advise me where to go and buy it? I said like, what? I said like, man, don't buy it. I need to documentary you buying it because people sometimes they will see it to believe it. And there's another person, he said like, I would like to buy it. Can we go to Leica together? And it's like, so sometimes you see that really you need to know how to talk to people. I'm not a salesperson. I'm, I don't work for Leica. I, I don't make a dime. If Leica see this, please send me, um, can you send me a t-shirt says Leica on it with the logo so I will wear it the next time. <laughs> you know, I'm getting nothing from Leica. I'm getting nothing at all. Like I buy things like even the film for like, uh, even film for, for my Sohfot, uh, uh, like, you know, even all these like teeny tiny things, I buy it full price. So nothing for free, but all, well, so you can see nothing in my pocket, whatever you do, but because I jumped to the system, I tried it. I like it. I love it. I start giving advice about it because I don't see it because I don't see something like that. And this is what annoys me. I'm a type of person not just in cameras or like or whatever right anything like even if i see a watch or uh, or uh, i go to work and i don't see people doing their job right i do it myself and say like wow you're really you know passionate about not what you do because you have integrity of what you do so this is the point uh, like i sell too i know the review is not so much because some people don't want to hear these kind of things they want to say like oh this is make over 24 megapixel this is 47 megapixel this is 4k this is 5k i'm not going to go through that because professional photographers know this is, doesn't matter because if you go back to the sl there is absolutely nothing wrong with it the other day my friend told me maybe that this and that i said like of course there is no perfect camera i'm not going to say this is the perfect holy grail of course not 
uh, it gives me a little bit of hard time sometimes when I uh, like some I don't know like in video like the autofocus maybe I'm doing it wrong uh, it gives me a little bit of struggling this and that this is fine which is normal right so but you know they said they improved the autofocus with the SL2 they put the Leica Q2 sensor into the SL2 so now they equal each other okay so so they said the grip is better you know how many people hold the SL and they told me, man, the grip in your SL, it's so comfortable and wow. We don't need more than wow. <laughs> how, what's going to be like, I'm going to try to attach it to my neck next time. You know what I mean? So this is my whole point. Like a SL2, will I buy it as a professional photographer, as me, as Ramsey Spencer? I don't think so. Will I buy another SL? Absolutely, absolutely right now, really. I would buy an SL now because I want another camera SL to, uh, to have as a, you know, of course I have my Q, but I would like to have another professional SL body and a lens and the whole combination like the one I have right now on filming me because I'm making great work with it and it's standing out and it's a piece of art camera. So this is how it is really. Uh, Whatever happens now, I don't know, I don't want to say like it's uh, late is too late, but uh, now is, is too late. But it's something to think about. You always need to think about who's inside, who's working with you, what you guys doing, are you guys thinking outside the box, do we really need this much, do we really need to, you know what I mean? Because we, li we are not living in a race. Of course you need to race and, and be up to standards, but you're doing things right from square one. So don't do more bad, like low quality, a lot of things. Just do one amazing, perfect quality. Let it sit there till you have the mood to do another total different thing. This is called innovation, creativity, passion, and you discover something new. But when you just bring this another body and say like, hmm, let's make bigger sensor, no problem more megapixel it's like we can crop more it's like a oh, professional photographer so we know what to do we either buy a good lens or you know i don't need to crop if i want to crop i will crop anyway and even how much i'm gonna crop from the 47 it doesn't matter i have phase one for god's sake like how much i'm gonna crop from the phase one i don't do these things you know because i try to be everything on set I have to, wow, what is it gonna be one percent from all work i need to really crop this much so I don't need to buy like, you know, 100 megapixel digital bag just to crop 1% in my whole life this much so it will look like it's been normal. You know what I mean? For, reviews need to be on, from, from real professional photographers. The way I report back to photographers on YouTube about the SL, they understand me as a professional photographer and that's why I have amazing feedback and all these people are buying it and I have a really good community there. I don't have millions, but I have enough. And when I have enough, all these people are making like, you know, they're giving and making uh, like money for Leica, right? So they're giving Leica money because they're buying their equipments and everything. And so that's mean it's good for Leica, <laughs> but you can see what I mean, right? But when someone is running around photo shooting trees and monkeys and going through the street with a professional camera and saying, mm, 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 really? Show me what you do in an event or a real campaign with, 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 with team full of, 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 of like the whole production. Not for one production, by the way. Make it for like a few days. Of course not. You're not gonna do any of that. Why? Because it's not your it's not your area. It's not your photography area. You're just holding it as you know, as a reviewer, not a photographer. Cameras need photographers, not reviewers. Laptop need a reviewer. Tablet need a reviewer. A printer need a reviewer. No problem. Photographers need photography. Photography need cameras. Cameras are for us as photographers, not for technology reviewers but this is my take a lot of people like clicking on this video to know if they want to see the sl2 to buy it or not it's up to you if you don't have an sl at all if you have an sl there is absolutely no reason to upgrade because i will be the first one to upgrade 
Uh, I didn't, I'm not complaining about the money, financial situation, because it's not an object in this case. Uh, I just wanted to say that it's not about all, every time it's all about money, but at the same time, it's all about thing. I have phase one for God's sake, so if the money is a problem, I won't be even having that camera. <laughs> so I, I don't mind buying a new camera, which I will hopefully buy. I will need to look into it. I would love to really buy another SL because I don't need 47 megapixel. I don't need 10% extra autofocus improvement. I don't need that thing, really. I will post a video I just made for an athlete who booked me professionally. That means he pays me money. And I'm the type of person who charge quite a lot. I don't need to say, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm full of myself really. But sometimes you have to deliver the message really so people can hear it. I don't, I'm not like a, a photographer work on a budget. I'm a photographer, have a strict price and I'm not really competing because I value myself really highly. So this athlete hired me because he'll go into a competition. So we booked a gym, I shot him. With the SL, everything is handheld. So I don't need image body stabilization. I don't need any of that. Because if I need that, as a professional photographer, you won't be holding the camera like that and saying you have an image body stabilization because photographers, professional ones, they know how to use their camera, even if it doesn't have any stabilization. So what my camera it was all about edgy movement, feeling it, shaking it so you can feel the moment because you can see all these amazing action movies you see the guy with the rig you doing all these things he does not need an image body stabilization because to make everything smooth if they need that guess what they will do they will bring a gimbal a steady cam a rig a crane a dolly but for Normal people are complaining about everything in their life. Of course, Emma's body civilization will be doing good for them. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully this video, it's a little bit informative from the, from the different kind of uh, point of view. As a professional photographer, you can see I did not go through the specs. I did not go through the water resisting and all these things. I did not go any of that. Why? Because it does not matter. Like is very minimalistic about their design. Look at the buttons layout from the back of the screen. Look at the new one now. Now it looks more, hi, what's up? There is a play button, you know, like everybody else. You know what I mean? But when they took the approach of doing the like SL, this one, this is what attracts people. This is what attracts me. So see when I say like I need to kind of rethink of who the, who's inside. Are they listening to professional photographers? Are they communicating well? Are they really into their job or are they just doing nine to five and getting a paycheck? I'm not ruining everybody's life. I'm not really trying to do bad things or uh, putting people against it or absolutely not. I'm just being realistic, you know? If I own a company, I will just like shaky, shaky, wakey, wakey, what's going on? What do we have? What's going on? You know what I mean? I will do re a strategy. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please check my work, my website, my editorials. You saw the three meters roll up. I will put more of my work to show that I am a professional photographer. I love my work, I love my passion, I love what I do. And this is when I love it so much, I share it. And when I share it, you can see I'm really uh, not hiding anything and I'm not kissing asses. I'm not getting anything for free. Uh, like, uh, send me a t-shirt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't need a t-shirt. I, you know, I'm just trying to make a joke or sense of humor to see, to show that I'm really not getting nothing from any of that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Go to RamseySpencer.com, Ramsino.com, ExpertoTV.com. I can't wait to put some of the videos of really people are listening to my advice because this is what makes me like so now it makes it feels good as a professional photographer even though i'm not making business with you guys like as a like business like as a uh, business owner and a client and money in situational transaction it feels way better than me sitting with a client booking a job a campaign editorial or an event it feels so much better when i help another photographer deciding to jump to a system is not really cheap it's expensive compared to other brands and they are convinced this is it because they hear it from another professional 
phot photographer and their colleague, <laughs> you may be to put it this way, that I'm not lying because this is the most important thing. Because I'm not making money from you guys, this is a super honest opinion. If I'm making money from you, you will hear all the bullshit in the world, really all of it. And you say like, this guy is bullshitting us and I'm not gonna buy it. And this is gonna actually make everything look even worse. But when it's really, this is what's missing maybe the company, passionate people. <laughs> Really, passionate, passionate, professional people. Not someone shooting trees and going, walking around with the camera and report back and this is how it looks like. <laughs> That's very much about it. I will put my hands on my SL2, absolutely no problem. I will report back, I will, I will shoot with it a campaign, I will shoot something with it in my professional way to show that if it really matters or not, <laughs> right? But this is not the point, the point is we sometimes we don't need a lot we have already what we need we just need a little bit of movement especially when it comes to this kind of a brand software is okay a bit of lensing a bit of flashing the flash system i don't know there is always something to work on you just need someone to know how to think outside the box you need creative people new generation a little bit of like hey what's up let's think we don't need to transfer the photos and do social media because s L is not meant for these things. It's nice to have a feature like that, but I'm a professional photographer. I have no clue to go to my, even my phone to share a photo. You know what I mean? I am doing heavy work, man. I am in an event. I'm in a campaign. I'm worried about my lighting. I'm worried about my makeup artist. I'm worried about the model. I'm worried about the, 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 the clothes, the location. Oh my God, the light is gone. This is what I'm worried about. I'm not worried about like, to, oh, let's take a photo and trans transfer it to the laptop, app, to iPad, because there is an app and let's share it immediately on social media. We can do that with the phone. Chick and done, we finished, right? This is what's called professional photography. You leave that for the Q, P, and I'm sorry, the Q, the CL, you know, these guys, the M, now they have Wi-Fi and the app. This is cool. Professionals don't have time for these things because they will never deliver a raw DNG massive picture or JPEG from the camera to their social media without even them editing, retouching, doing this and that. See, this is how professional photographers think. Not to transfer the photo right away to their iPad or from the app and share it. People don't have time for this thing. Anyway, we'll come up with the next video about more catching up, okay? Hopefully this will be kind of different video than other photographers. Uh, well, reviewers, I'm sorry, because I didn't see any one professional photographer reviewing the SL2. And we'll, we'll catch up. Thank you so much for watching. Please check my website, my work at everything, and my Instagram. And we'll talk to you later. Ciao.